I'm Kayla Vernava here on Radio Row. I'm joined now by John Randall, Hall of Fame defensive tackle. Thanks for being with us today. How are you? Great. Thank you guys for having me. Now you're here with K Jewelers. I know you have the ring on. We are going to get to that soon. But first, just want to talk to you a little bit about this Super Bowl matchup we have coming up. Mm -hmm. Obviously, great quarterback play, but let's talk about the defenses okay. because a little bit ends of the, different ends of the spectrum here. Patriots first in scoring defense in the league. What do you see in that defense? Because they've gotten a lot of criticism for not passing the eye test all year. Yeah, I think the thing is that uh, Belichick has put a, put together a good group of guys. Anytime you put Belichick in charge of something, you can expect the best. And you can expect uh, them to do things that like take away whatever you do well to take away from you. And that's one way to look at their defense. But, you know, people have criticized it. But at the same time, you got to realize that we're talking about Belichick here every year. Everyone knows that New England is either going to be in the playoffs or they're going to be in a run for it. What do you think they will do to Matt Ryan on Sunday? Will they be able to slow him down, you think? That's a good question. I think that's a question that everybody is, is waiting for. I, I myself, also waiting to see that because, as I said, by New England, it's a team that I'm always – you're curious to watch them because you, you're you curious to see who they have on the field. I mean, you like you, like you look at their, their offense, the receivers. We were talking about the other day that they got three small receivers, but those three receivers have gotten them to the playoffs and got them to the point now where they're in the Super Bowl. And so overall, New England's a team that you expect surprises and you can basically just anticipate they're going to do something that we weren't expecting. Well, as for the Falcons defense, if Tom Brady is going to get that fifth ring, he's going to once again have to get past Dan Quinn last time as the defensive coordinator mm -hmm. for Seattle. And that defense ranked number one in a lot of different categories yes. that year. And he obviously had a lot of different pieces of the puzzle to work with than he does in Atlanta. So Atlanta's offense, obviously very strong. What does Dan Quinn need to do? What can he do moving forward in these next few seasons to bring that defense up to a higher level? I think he's going to be patient. Uh, that's that's one of the things of, of getting a good defense together, is being patient and putting your guys in the right uh, position. Uh, playing that 14 years in the National Football League, that's what, uh, and, and being on a successful defense was being patient because you want to find the right guys, but you don't want to make a mistake and bring a guy in who just doesn't uh, fit in with your with your core group of guys because that can set you back two or three years. That's where in payroll or that's also going to affect the, the, the continuity of the group of guys. But I think to, for Atlanta overall, the perspective is being patient, but also at the time uh, finding the right guys to, to bring in. And uh, But I think also the problem is going to be for Atlanta is figuring out if the offensive coordinator's head is going to be in the game or, thinking, or anticipating moving on. Now, John, I really appreciate the X's and O's analysis, but one of the things my producers were most excited to ask you about was a Brett Favre commercial that you did back in the day. Can you tell us a little bit about that for anyone who hasn't seen it? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I did this commercial with, uh, where I was chasing this chicken around, and uh, we basically was chasing the chicken, uh, and, and then all of a sudden me catching this chicken, and then they showed me eating this chicken. But what people failed to realize was that Peter didn't find that too appealing and kind of got pretty mad about it. So I got a lot of uh, flack about it from Peter. But it was a good commercial, it was fun. I did a little sewing on it, I had a little Brett Favre jersey I put on his chicken, and uh, it was pretty cool. I have two questions. First, was the chicken, how did the chicken taste? Good. Chicken tastes good. And second, did, the, did you put the wings in the sleeves? You put the, the shirt yeah, on we the did. chicken? Yeah, we did. Put, put but no, no animal cruelty, no, no chickens harmed no in the chicken filming of that, that commercial. commercial. No chickens okay. harmed. That's, good. That's yeah. good to know. Can you flash everyone this bling Hall of Fame ring that you've got going on? Tell us a little bit about it. How does it feel? It feels really good. This it's is, pretty flashy. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's an honor to have it. I'm number 258 in the hall, so my ring has number 258 inside of it. Uh, this is a ring from K Jewelers, the number one uh, jewelry company in America. And I'm proud to be a part of it. Beautiful, beautiful ring. And before I let you go, we like to ask Hall of Famers all this week. We're trying to find out how guys would describe Tom Brady in one word. How would you describe him? Uggs. <laughs> all right. I'm going to drop the mic yeah. and end on that. I was going to That was a great answer. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. <laughs> I was not expecting that. It was fantastic.